how are you? I had a really hard time finding uh, some screen capture software that I was happy with and finally someone um, on a Windows website suggested this stuff and so far I'm pretty happy with it. Still trial version. We'll see <laughs> how this works out. I've just been having lots of trouble with software. It's not the computer's fault. It's the version of my software's fault. Um, Windows 7 just hates old stuff. It just hates it. So, my trusty old version of Feed Wizard absolutely refused to load into this new PC. I was really upset about it. Um, but not real upset. You know, I've had it several years, and I know this stuff doesn't last forever. But still, you know, I paid 50 bucks for it, and I kind of wanted it to work. I went back and forth with the developer and the engineer for several days. In the end, he basically said it should work, <laughs> but it doesn't. So I went searching around for some new pattern software, and I found B Tool 4. And I love it, except for one feature, and I will get to that, and I'm hoping that the developer of Bead Tool 4 will please, please fix this feature, because I think it's important um, for any kind of creative software like this. It's amazing to me that it's not included. Uh, basically, I like it. Over here, we have all of our patterns and there are scads of patterns way way more than bead wizard ever had it even has a tubular peyote function to increase your columns you just click this and you get more columns it's wonderful you can go all the way up to like 200 beads or something i haven't gone all the way i don't know how far it goes it goes a long way though and this is how you complete your rows just like this so I don't want anything that big colors are also really really nice it uh, get this a little smaller here's your basic has every bead every bead normally used for weaving it even has a generic color if you just you know want to get basic colors it's really nice um, I went with Mayu it has all the sizes too which is kind of cool um, it doesn't have well I guess it does it has everything it even has Echoes, treasures everything by Mayuki even the rounds I don't know what Felix is if somebody knows tell me Oh, I know what that is. It was a pattern I was working on. Never mind. There's no such thing as a Felix bead. Um, I must have saved it and not even realized I saved that. Uh, so let's just go to Miyuki size 11. These are Delicas. I don't want to make a round pattern just yet. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make a regular peyote pattern. And to import your picture, I have a bunch saved on my computer. I kind of went nuts and saved a bunch of pictures. Where's the one I was playing with? The Stick Tracy one it was a lot of fun. You can adjust the size of your image here like this, but everyone knows that the bigger your picture, the more detail, you know, the bigger your pattern, the more detail you can get into it, right? So, Let's increase the pattern to match the image. One click down, click down, and then you click transfer. And this will convert the pattern to beads, the image to beads. Um, it, it was suggested that you use 32 colors. For something like this, I would, because there is a lot of color. You can eliminate color if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it. Or you can add more. You can go up to, I don't know how many it is. <laughs> a thousand, almost a thousand colors. But that's okay. <laughs> We're not going to use a thousand colors. Uh, 
I can't imagine where I would ever do that or anyone who would and then click begin and it transfer your pattern your image into beads just like this and you can go in and you can edit and you can select and you can you know add more stuff if you want to if I wanted to put like a, a I don't know this thing here I can do that um, I like this I like this function a lot that you can put basic shapes in there I like it I generally like this I think it's great um, what I don't like about it I'll get into that right now say if I had something that was huge if I had a pattern that was gigantic it was and it does happen you can do this I've done it I've made things over 200 before over 200 columns before and definitely over a hundred uh, rows many times I can't let's I can't uh, zoom out any more than a hundred percent with this software I have never seen anything like that before why I would want to go up to 900 percent is a mystery I can't imagine that 200% fine, but for visuals like this and for small tiny details like this, there is no way I'm going to want to scroll around to see what I've got going. I want to see the whole thing, but it's not allowing me to get the whole picture, and I don't like that at all. Um, so, out of five stars, I would give it four just because of that that one feature everything else is great it has wonderful library and saving functions awesome uh, you can save these to a PDF you can save them as a regular uh, bitmap file you can give them all kinds of names and transfer them to different folders and create folders and make little titles and awesome really really good see that's that's wrong I have to make a folder for it but say if I was going to um, print this which I probably will I would change this up here to I don't know Dick Tracy or something Dick Tracy you know one save it as a PDF and print it it's wonderful it's awesome so let's try that save as My patterns, Dick Tracy. Uh, what is this? It's 92 by 54. I'll save it. Uh, layouts. Ah, I'm still learning this. Forgive me darn it <laughs> you can move things around it's a this part is a little confusing saving things getting things to print correctly I'm still learning that part myself uh -huh. browse here we go browse where are you <laughs> Forget, sorry. this right here someone was asking me about for oh they must have sent me two or three messages about my little banner earrings. So here's a pattern of my pattern, pa uh, 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 banner earrings that I really enjoy. I also made a couple of blanks down here. If you wanted to create your own color in your own, I can make that bigger if you want to, if you want to see that bigger so you can see what you're doing. Uh, prints pretty well. Oh, there's a little lizard. I made that a long time ago and a little easy butterfly this is a watermelon slice that I just love show you that um, a little no here's a watermelon slice <laughs> it's so cute but you put a, a jump ring right here you know through here or down here and you make little little watermelon earrings Isn't that cute I, I really like that I got a lot of compliments on those I made a bunch of those um, long time ago. I haven't made any in a while. So, 
What else do I have in here? This is a tubular a tubular pattern I was working on. However, my little tubular is not coming not showing up. There it is. This is a tubular pattern. You have to when you're doing I'm going to try to do a toot on this. I don't know if I'll accomplish it. Um, but when you're doing a tubular pattern, a pattern like this in tubular peyote, you need to step up as you're going. And these little uh, marked off squares here, come on, whoops, <laughs> these little squares um, help you keep track of where you are when you're working. These funny, funny things here. So, I thought that would be kind of cute. This is 66 by 56. Not real big. And I got a lot in there. I was kind of surprised. So that's it. Bead Tool 4. Uh, excellent replacement for Bead Wizard. If you're having trouble with Windows 7 accepting your old programs like mine, it just hates them. It hates my favorite drawing program. It hates Bead Wizard. It hates my version of Photoshop. It hates everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> hates everything. So I had, uh, ended up researching all this stuff that I have to replace. I'll show you the other one. Where's the other one? There's this one. This herring here. It's easy. Because I'm left-handed, I start upside down, and I start at the top. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This one's thirteen across. Uh, another one they make is that is uh, eleven, I think. A little narrower, not as wide. This is a very easy earring, very flattering. You add a little dangle at the bottom if you want, jump ring. Add your finding, jump ring and finding at the top here. Real cute. So, that's it. This is basically a test to see if this uh, screenshot, screen capture software works because I'm going to be starting a series of uh, different tutorials that have absolutely nothing to do with beading. <laughs> nothing at all. Uh, it'll be professional and that's that. Okay, where is, where is this thing? You guys have a really, really great weekend, rest of the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Everyone's, everyone's been so kind and generous and funny. <laughs> Some of you guys are hysterical. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you every time I upload something. Thank you again. Bye-bye.